worship you.
Claim as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah, he's alive. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. The choir will repeat that song, the first and the last. And I want you to follow that song. These songs mean the people that have been victorious at the last day. It's in the book of Revelation. When they wash you and you pass through the fire and your faith is not born in the fire, you are victorious. So this is how they sing this song when they are singing it in this way. It's a victorious song. Are you understand? So we are not going to stand like one, like one. You move according to the songs. You move according to the beats. Amen. You see the melody of that song. So don't just stand. We are in the presence of God. We are not in the sanctuary. We are in the sanctuary. It's a victorious song at the last day. Amen. Are we ready? When it comes into the thing of God, I'm not in a hurry. If you don't do it the way we want to do it, we we'll sleep here tonight. The people over there is only two people that I see that move their body. If they don't do it, we will repeat it. Amen. 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 We want to do it to the satisfaction 
We want to do it and begin to feel the presence of God in your life. Begin to do it and begin to receive joy unspeakable in your spirit, in your soul. Amen. The people over there, I can see only two. The sister, the two sisters. But the rest, no, I can see three. But the rest, even though all the men there, did your wife quarrel with you today? No. So I want us one and two. We want to move according to the songs and according to the to the music. Are we ready? Aha, see this mama, see, see. Look at, look at, look at. Let's do it in this way. Aha. Look at, look at, yeah. As you meet to Jesus for the blessing, are you walked in the blood of the Lord? Oh, are you walked in the blood of the Lord? Are you walked in the blood of the Lord? Are you walked in the blood of the Lord? In the blood of the Lord. Have been broken. Yeah. We are victorious. Yeah. The time is coming. We have men in the choir that have bass voice, autumn voice. That song, when they sing it, you see bass voice will come under. Amen. Yeah. You begin to hear different type of tongues and different type of voice. You will move by that songs. Are you washed in the blood of Lamb? Shout in loudest hallelujah. <laughs> Father, we give you all the glory this hour. We thank you because you are always with us. Thank you for your light that shines upon us. Thank you for the doors of opportunity that have opened in the month of April. Thank you for every demonic door that you shut against us in the month of March. Lord, we worship you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are going this morning, Lord, go with us. Amen. We that is here and the people that connect, oh Lord, in, on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, or by any means of, uh, of social media. Father, let your hand be upon every one of us. Amen. Speak yourself forth to everyone. Amen. Let there be deliverance, healing, breakthrough through your word. Amen. Let your word be richly in our hearts. Holy Spirit, over to you, come and take control. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A louder amen and be seated. Praise the Lord. For some minutes now, before we leave this place, it's no more, it's not, it's, it's less than an hour now. Um, before we go into today's uh, message, three things you did not supposed to miss on Sunday or any time that there is service in the house of God, three things that you did not supposed to miss and which I want to strengthen the members of this church 
for these three things. Number one, Sunday school. Number two, the period of praise and worship. Praise and worship will launch you into the praise of God. It will gear your spirit up. Number three thing you do not supposed to mix that is very important for we Christian is the word of God. These three things, if you miss it, your service on that Sunday is not complete. It's not complete. So please, let's try as much as possible to meet up with Sunday school, praise and worship period, and the word of God. Jesus tell Martha, he called Martha two times, Martha, Martha, you are concerned with the thing of this world, but the best of the best, Mary have chosen the word of God. Is the word that will strengthen us, is the word that will make us to be victorious, is the word of God is what we, we base our prayer life on. It shall be well with us in Jesus' wonderful, mighty name. Amen. Please, let's take note of these three things and let's be coming to the house of God on time. It shall be well with us. Amen. We are talking about a good man's stamp uh, order by God or order my stamp, O Lord. The Bible makes me to understand in the scripture that we read last week that a good man's stamp are ordered by God. And you know that we stopped this message somewhere last week, which I will start from exactly that place. But they want to look into the book of 1 Kings 17. 1 Kings 17 from verse 8 to 16. 1 Kings 17. 17, 17 verse 8 to 16. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, go to Sedephat, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went into Sedephat, and went and when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. So she said, as the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour in a bean, and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for mice, myself, and my son, that we may eat, eat, and die. We and our children, we will not die. Yeah. I cannot hear you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. And Elijah said to her, Do not fear. Go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it first, and bring it to me, and afterward, make small for yourself and your son. For thou, said the Lord God of Israel, the bean of flour shall not run used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry, until the day the Lord send rain on the earth. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and he and her household ate for many days. The bean of flour was not used up, nor the jar of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. Give me verse 15. See what the Bible says in verse 15. Let us read it together, please. Let us read it together. So she went 
and did according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household, when God is ordering your step, lack will become abundance. Why I ask her to repeat this verse 15. I want to show us something there. The woman said to Elijah, me and my children, isn't it? But if you look at it here now, and she and he and her household, and she and he, that is the son, and the abiotu, and the abuse. The sister did not understand. That is extended family. God bless you. Now, the God has planned for the widow of Seraphat. God has planned for Elijah. God ordering the stem of both together. God told Elijah the, the postcode of the woman, the widow of Seraphat, the door number. And God had placed the woman in the place where Elijah will meet her. And God had said to Elijah, Arise, go to Seraphat. I have commanded a widow to provide for your need. Let me tell you, what is in your hand is God will use to bless you, to save you, to deliver you, to make his purpose in your life accomplishment. Do you understand what I'm saying? The widow of Sedefan had literally, and I believe that woman had been in the place of hospitality before God remembered to pay her the time of reward is the time of scarcity, the time of famine. Shout where you are. Say, Father, from this moment, order my stamp yourself. When God is ordering your stamp, the little one will become, will, become, will become plenty. Let me tell you, the woman determined, he have, he have, he have raised it up in her mind that today will be the end of her and her son. But God has ordered a stamp of a man that we turn things around in our life. I pray for someone who can say a louder amen today. Your destiny ever from this moment, God will order their stamp. Amen. They will locate you. Amen. They will see you. Amen. They will not miss you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. God order the stamp of Elijah. I will show you something. What you have is what God will use to settle that case. I told you maybe last week here, the Mara water, somebody say Mara. Mara. The water is, is, is bitter. They can't drink it. And there was a tree by that river. Are you listening to me? There was a tree by that river. The tree was, was feeding through the, 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 the water. And when God want to settle the case of the Israelites because he ordered their step and there is nothing to heal that water, this tree that the trap root taken from the water, from bitter water to the tree, is the tree that God caught through the hand of Moses, throw it back into the water and it makes sweet. You don't understand the logic? What God is going to use to settle your cases in your hand? God settled the case of Israelites by the Mara water with the tree that grew at the bank of the river, taking the source from the river, and the river was bitter. And they cut the stick, throw it back into the water, and it made sweet. That is exactly what happened to widow of Seraphat, the little one that is in his hand, that is in her hand, he released it because God has ordered the stamp of a man that will transform a life. 
My question to everyone today, when God order a step of a strong one to meet with you, did you destroy him or you kill him? When we are asking God to order our step or to order the step of our destiny helper to us, what did you do to your destiny helper? When Elijah said to the woman, give me water, the woman said, if it is water, <laughs> in Serifat here, you will drink tired. But when he, become, when he come to think of the food, he begin to smile. Please, you can take that in the wizard. The woman smiled. The woman laughed. And Elijah said, go, do my own first. Brethren, the way of God is not the way of man. Release yourself to God to order your step. Allow God to settle your case. Amen. Saul, in the book of 1 Samuel, the son of Cush, he lost an animal. And the father said, take one of your servants, go and search for this. Some, Saul did not think of becoming a king, but God ordered the same by allowing the animal to lost. Brethren, if you don't release yourself to God, there is no how you can order your step. Along the line, they are searched for everywhere because the hand of God is on that journey. That is the plan of God. What is it that means in your life that God wants to use to accomplish his purpose in your life? When they are going, the servant, the church tell, tell his servant, let's go back. We have searched, searched, searched. We couldn't find it. So that, let not my father be troubled. And the servant said, I heard there's a prophet in this city. And Saul said, there's nothing with, with us that we can give to the servant of God. And the servant said, we have, I have little chin with me to call the long story short because I'm taking us to somewhere this morning. Get in there. Come, sir. Saul, come. Be coming from that place. Go extreme end. A day before, God spoke to Samuel. I'm ordering the step of a man to you. When he come, anoint him as a king. He did not determine to become a king. But God is in that journey. That is God mathematics. And he have told his servant, I'm sending a man to you. I have ordered him instead. He's the one you will anoint for me as a king over my people. So becoming. Saul is searching for an animal. Saul did not determine to become a king. In the family of Saul, there is no kingship there. But in God mathematics, he has ordered himself to be a king. Either good king or bad king. The stamp has been ordered. Be coming. As Saul is coming, God whispering, that is the man I said to you. So that he will not mistake. He whispering, Samuel, that is the man I'm saying, take him to the high mountain, let him eat with you, anoint him as a king over my people. I decree, if you can say a louder amen today, before you will leave this place, God will order your step. Yeah. God will settle your case. Yeah. God will settle that case. Yeah. God will settle that case. Yeah. You will not miss work again. Yeah. You will not go into wrong place again. God will connect you with your destiny helper in the mighty name of Jesus. When your destiny helper sees you, it will not mistakenly 
He will do what God asked him to do for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And he was asking, what Samuel, Saul is asking is not what Samuel is answering because there's an ordination of full step. Follow me to the high mountain. So was perplexed. Miracle that will make you to perplex. Miracle that will make you to embarrass. I decree, receive it now. The news that we hear that will transform your household. I decree as the servant of the living God. Today is the last Sunday in March. I pray and I prophesy. Receive that good news now. He was perplexed, sir. What are you saying? A man of God that the whole world is respect. And he said, follow me to the high mountain. Saul was, if it is now, Saul will not go. He said they want to make me a rich, they want to go and make me a ritual. Following him, getting to that place. God has made a reservation for Saul. When God is ordering your step, there's a reservation for you. Amen. Saul called the servant. Samuel called the servant, the caterers. The food I told you yesterday, the special one, among of the people that were reserved, uh, I decree, if you can say louder, amen. amen. The Lord will preserve you. Amen. Saul was perplexed. Sir. He doesn't know what is happening. The food that I that I I, I, I we we will reserve for the prominent people, bring it for me.
Let's read together, please. Let's read. Are you with me here? Yes. Stand on your feet. Choir, please join me to sing this song. And I want to teach you this song. Anytime, if you can't pray, just sing the song. Da, let my stem by your word. Da, let my stem by your word. Very simple. Da, let my stem. Da, let my stem. Da, let my stand. Do you love the songs? Let's teach it now. Shall we go? Da, let my stand by your word. Yes, Lord. Da, let my stand by your word. Jesus. Da, let my stand. Direct my stand, direct my stand by your word. Why well, let me sing it again and I will leave you alone. Direct my stand by your word, Jesus. Direct my stand. Direct my stand. Direct my stand. Direct my stand. Can we sing it alone? Yes, go ahead. Direct my stand. Church, just for Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Amen. Direct my stem by your word. Direct my stem by your word. Jesus, direct my stem. Direct my stem. Direct my stem by your before you sing it alone, what we need for we not to struggle or to sweat is for God to direct our step. Your prayer will not be stayed long to be answered. You will fast, you will see results. You will vigil, you will see results. It will connect. You want to marry, it will marry it for you. The marriage will not destroy. The marriage will not have K-leg. Why? Because it directs your step. You will not go into a wrong church. Where you will stay a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, nothing to show up. And you'll be asking, is God in this church? When God directs you to a better place, when God is directing your step to a good family, they will love you there. They will honor you there. When God is directing you to a nation that is taking you to, you will be blessed there. No one will harass you. What we need, and I want the key to on this message and your prayer is Lord directs my step. Yes. Church, let's go. It's a prayer of his nose. Clap for yourself, let me sit tight. Clap for yourself, be seated, be seated. Jeremiah 10 23. Jeremiah 10 23 was telling us, It is not in man. Oh Lord, I know the way of man is not himself. It is not in man. It is not in man who wants to direct his own step. 
It is not a man. Man propose. What happened to God? He dispose. Amen. The Bible says it is not a man who walks to direct his own step. Now what is happened to the foolish thing? When God is other your step. In Exodus 15, verse 22, Exodus 15, verse 22 to 26, you know the meaning of that matter water. Not only that, the Bible make me to understand in Psalm 25, verse 14, verse 25, Psalm 25, verse 14, was telling us the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him and we show them his covenant. When God is directing, when God is leading, he told Elijah, Elijah, arise, go to Syriphat. I have commanded. This morning, God will command your destiny helper. 